Hey men, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, another glorious day out in the woods. Uh, trying to get a little bit of work done. I've got some trees to cut down today. I'm going to see if the weather doesn't play along with us. Try to take down some of these big pine trees. And uh, man, it is just an adrenaline rush. It's exciting watching these things go down. It's also kind of scary. I mean, you start to think about, you know, what, what if, you know, what if this happened? What if that happened? And, uh, you know, it gets, gets a little scary when you start thinking about the what ifs. But you just got to control the things you can control. Um, clear out the area around. Plan your cuts. Plan your wedge. Plan your back cut. When can you get in there and get that back wedge in to hang on to it uh, from the back side? You know, keep in mind, you know, if something did happen, where are my exits? Um, you know, you just got to be smart about this stuff. I mean, this is how men have done things for hundreds of years you know we've got better tools now um, slightly better at least since 1960 <laughs> but uh, I mean you just gotta work with the tools you got plan out as much as you can plan out and then get after it right that's what we do so let's get after it I'm open to man time See how the O31 wants to do today. Yeah, look at this strange tree here. I think I'm going to start off with a little bit smaller tree, just kind of get myself set up for those big trees and see how this wind is going to do. But this one's got like a really weird, it looks like it was a double stem and one of them died or something. But this one's a uh, kind of a medium-sized uh, sweet gum tree. We're going to try to take this one down first, just get kind of warmed up for some of these bigger trees. Yeah, using this, uh, using this smaller saw is going to give me kind of a feel of what it's like in the bigger tree, too. Um, smaller bar, I don't have to come in as far from the back. I can get a wedge in there a little bit sooner, proportionally to what it would be for like a bigger saw or a bigger tree. Okay.
I think I'm as far as I want to go there. I'm uh, just about an inch holding wood in the middle. Yeah, this one, this one has a little bit of a back lean to it, so now I've just kind of got it standing straight up and down. And, and this is kind of what I was talking about in the beginning. You plan and you prep and you do everything you know, to the best of your ability where you can somewhat control the outcome. You can see they're nice one inch, making sure to go to both sides, looking down through my back cut. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, uh, you know, you're there to there, there to there. So, that's about all we can do. All right, so here's looking out onto the uh, onto the house pad here, and um, you can see there's just some really big pine trees around here. But I'm standing, I'm standing at the edge, kind of where the edge of the shop's going to be, and I've got this tree right here. It's going to be, I mean, just looming. You know, it's maybe. Uh, 30 yards or so from here to the tree and uh, that sucker is well over 100 and it's already had the top broke out of it I don't know if you can see up in there um, but the tops of the tree is just two branches that have kind of grown to take the place of the top that blew out and I mean you can see all of these have you know big chunks of limb missing where they've um, broken out at the top and come down at some point so, yeah, let's get these out of here. Let's uh, see if we can get a little perspective here using this tree. And what you want to do is basically find something that's the same distance in perspective and lay it down. And you can see it's coming over here somewhere, which is going to be um, right into the corner of the house. So... You just got to be thinking about stuff like that as you're setting up your site. You know, it's, uh, yeah.
Oh man, all right. <laughs> well, uh, I purposely chose that one that had a little bit of a lean to it because um, I knew it was gonna go over that direction, basically whatever I did to it. So um, you can see there, I was down to about two inches of holding wood and it just started to go. It almost started to go when I was, you know, three inches plus. Um, whew, all right, <laughs> one down, let's keep going. You want to take care and precision in making those cuts. Uh, wind is very calm. Um, couldn't have asked for anything much better than what happened on that one. This one's going to be a little different since it's more just standing straight up in the air.
right, I really want to be on the uphill side of this thing when it starts to go. So I've cut in to about that far on the other side. Now I'm going to come in from this side and just constantly be watching it. That's, that's a lot of holding wood there. I mean, we're, I mean, it just happened so perfect. Um, down to about an inch and a half on this side, and then over here, inch and a half. And as we came into this side of it, it, it just decided to go using that wedge. Let's take a look at it here, see how much damage it would have done if there was a house sitting here. Man, that one was just, uh, just not quite 20 inches across. But, I mean, it was just a huge stick. And, uh, See, I mean, th this is this is the house. I mean, th this would this would come down right on top of the house, and with that much force, um, yeah, so much for homeowners insurance at that point. The wind is really starting to pick up here. I was gonna take that next tree down and you know, half the battle is analyzing your surroundings and uh, knowing your processes. Um, the, the, I, I don't have control of the tree anymore with it being this windy, right? As much preparation and perfect wedge, uh, perfect back cut, wedge in the back, the wind 100 foot up is controlling the tree. Um, so it just makes it a little unsafe at this point. But I mean that's all part of the assessment. That's all part of the process, right? This is all, this is all just a process. And I don't know if you know this about me. I was a uh, aerospace um, process engineer for a while there, um, and worked for ISO uh, 9000, 9001 um, companies uh, since college. And all that is is somebody certifying that you have a good and reliable process. And if you follow that process, you can repeatedly make good quality or whatever quality you're uh, trying to make with that process. And it's the same for cutting down a tree, right? Uh, and, and the process starts with having good, reliable, known equipment. Um, sh you know, before I even dog this thing in, I, I know I've got sharp teeth. I know I've got it tuned as well as I possibly can. I know that I've got full fluids in here and a clean air filter. Um, you know, and that's that's coming from years and years of experience of doing it the wrong way. You know, I'm kind of, at least it's getting easier, right? Um, and the other thing is like when you're cutting your wedge in the front, I'm not one of those guys that can just dig his saw in and start cutting and know where it's gonna end up. So you'll see me, you know, making a little line from one side to the other, um, looking at the saw from different angles, going around to each side, um, making sure the, you know, the bar is all the way through there and if it's not, you know, and then planning ahead, you know, looking to make sure as soon as this... Anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, um, you want to make sure your bar is all the way through so you don't have, um, you know, internal cutting going on without you knowing about it. Uh, as soon as you clear your bar, make sure you get that wedge in there. Make sure you're watching that holding wood all the way through the cut from both sides. Um, stuff like that is, you know, the process that goes with a, you know, successful tree felling. Um, you know, and again, I'm no expert. I've just been doing this out here on this homestead now for uh, 12 years or 15. I, I don't know. It's been so long. But this is pretty much every weekend for me. 
to some regard or another. I'm not running the chainsaw every weekend. Most weekends I am, though. Um, so, anyways, hopefully that'll help you out. Take your time, most importantly, uh, and just pay attention to what you're doing, and you can have a successful outcome like that. A lot of the, you know, professional guys, they've been doing it so long, it's just, you know, it's repetitive motion for them, and for me it's not. I've got to think through and um, plan for each cut and every variable going through there. So, anyways, that's going to do it for today on Man Time. Men, get out there. Have you some man time too.